I should clarify, I have really bad allergies and I think I should get allergy pills and like fucking skin's breaking out like crazy and I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. And there's these three guys that are stalking me that I have nothing to do with and two of them will actually owe me money. And I think that was their plan from the beginning. They thought that I was going to go after them if I owed if, if they owed me money. I'm like, are you stupid? I've never done that in my entire life. Never. I did that once to kind of like get a legal defense for another case that I was involved in. But this is an actual case, a court claim that I was processing. So why would I do that? Do you understand? And then um, they thought that like, I would be really upset and enough to like just go after them and harass them until they pay me back and I'm like that's not what people do that's a movie yeah you're talking about an action movie like Fast and Furious and um, Transformers and all that kind of stuff that's what that movie was about that um, like they harass somebody until they can pay them that's what they're talking about Again, that doesn't happen in real life. That's why they're talking about that kind of stuff in the movies. Sometimes the stuff they talk about in movies does happen in real life, but they present it in a different way. Right? It's just like somebody's ideas or thought process that they're presenting, but it's not literally like that, which is why it's considered fiction. Right? Anyway, um, that stuff is very general and it's... There's a moral of the story, even though it's just a movie or film or cinematic masterpiece, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh my god. Okay, my point being... Okay, this, they thought that like I would actually go after them. They thought that like if they stole from me, if like I if they owe me money or whatever, I would still want to keep in contact with them regardless how, of how badly they were behaving or how much advantage you're taking of me and whatever they were saying about me because just to get my stuff back. And I'm like, this isn't like are you reading a fairy tale? Like I know in Asian fairy tales, they say that all the time. Like that's a, literally a fairy tale. You think life is a fairy tale. People who think life is a fairy tale are people who think that they're better than they actually are. So they are not really self-aware. There's no like self-reflection going on in their head. They don't even know what that is. Like honestly, this is why I don't bother. And I'm like, that's what actually gonna happen is I'm gonna report the thefts to the police, right? And in the case that I don't, because I don't really trust it, um, I'm just gonna leave it. And I already told you, and you know how much money you owe me, so you can always pay back that way. Like I'm not gonna bother. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with all the, any of that kind of shit. Like, I'm so sorry. Like, you you do your thing, like, I'm not gonna... It literally makes no sense. Legit, like, why would I do that? Actually, like, go out of my way to spend energy and my time and then try to convince people to give me back my stuff? Do you think that's like, that's a fucking comic book? Like, you're talking about a comic book, right? Like, that happens in comic books all the time. That's kind of what gets a plot going. Right? Villain versus superhero. That kind of stuff, but that's fucking gay. It's called homoerotic novellas. You know, like those, um, like, very cheap prints or something. Like, yeah, there's this very homoerotic, um, content that you're talking about. This is kind of weird. Like, I'm not saying, like, don't be gay or whatever. I'm just saying, like, you know, in real, realistically speaking, I'm not going to do that. And this is another thing that they didn't understand. This guy named David Nagy, he thought that I actually liked him. I'm like, I don't like you, David. I never did. I don't understand how you didn't understand this. Like, you continually committing crimes where I'm the victim, right? You're bullying me, and you're stealing from me, you're raping me, and all that kind of shit. And you still owe me money, and you still haven't apologized for it. And if he thinks that if he apologizes for it, and returns all my stuff, and pays me for all of that, I would like him again. And I'm like, you know, the problem is I never liked you to begin with. I didn't actually like you. Which is probably what, like, upset you, because... There's a hot girl who doesn't like you because you're ugly. 
and you don't have your shit together, and you think you're entitled to everything that's good in life. Do you understand? Like, you were missing teeth, you were, like, half-starving, and all you cared about was getting drugs. Literally, at least it's straight drugs. That's all you cared about. Smoking crack and meth and heroin all day, that's all you cared about. Like, injecting heroin, that's any like, anything that had to do with acquiring drugs was the only thing you actually cared about. On top of which, you were, like, what's it called? You were, like, um, very, like, loud and proud about the fact that you are racist. And, um, just, you didn't, you're not very attractive physically and you're kind of dumb. And racist people are stupid. This is why they live with racism, not stupidity. They try to, like, tell people the dangers of being that stupid. Don't get involved with people that are that stupid. They're very, very stupid. They're gonna do very stupid things. It's gonna be stupid, but there's gonna be so much damage associated with it. So don't go near those people. Okay? Like, literally, just ignore them. Don't hire them. They're gonna cause problems in your working workplace. Always. There's always, like, a sexual harassment suit or, like, actual harassment suit because of stupid people, right? It's stupid to get involved in that kind of stuff. So that's always gonna be a thing if you hire those people right and not to mention he had no motivations to get better he didn't even want to find a job and he didn't care about anything literally he thought he was the greatest guy in the world didn't care about anything and everyone should love him immediately and here was this one girl who's hotter and better than any white woman he's ever met in his entire life who didn't like him because he was like that right and that part's real like i don't like that guy and i never did and i don't care if he pays me back or not i don't really give a shit my point is honestly i don't like that guy and now i actually hate him because of what he did right and i guess he thought something different because he's a racist he's stupid and he thought it was okay right he thought the entire thing was okay because i wasn't a white woman I mean, I have no idea how somebody lives their life like this. I was really shocked. I was like, oh my god. Like the bus drivers here, where I always go through to say if there's an attendant prior to going to the bathroom. Some of them saw all white men, by the way, which is weird. Um, They saw to the cameras and they would stop by my tent on the bus route and just walk up to me and then just yell at me for no reason. Literally, they just like, I'm like, aren't you at work? I saw there was actually people in the bus. He left them all there. He just came out of the bus just to yell at me for no reason. And his reasoning was that you came to see if anyone's at the tent before the bathroom. So now I can see if you were there before, before what? <laughs> I'm going to go out of my way to stalk you on the street and then um, harass you while I'm at work. Right, which is filmed by the way, and then yell at you because you notified an attendant prior to going to the bathroom. That's a bad thing because I'm telling you you're doing something right, but like I don't want like the fact that you're doing something right. So I'm gonna harass you until you get so scared that you're not gonna do anything right ever again. I'm like, did you get abused or raped or something? Like, what the fuck is your problem, dude? Like, that's what people who get raped do literally that's like ptsd from rape and i'm like bro what the fuck and i'm like i didn't even do anything and i was like what the fuck is that shit do you know what i mean i'm like i don't even like using the subway like this is why people go use cars here right i'm like they have they drive their own cars or like they stay in their homes oh also speaking of which um um, Dustin was trying to like make it look like um, I deserve all this kind of stuff happening because he was bullying me by making my the kind of trying to, this is how he's convincing me hey um, I gotta go pick him up so we can head to the club later right um, okay so I come in my car I try to pick him up so we can go to a club right you know what actually ended up happening um, he tried to like, he told me to park somewhere because I don't actually know where to park. But he's like, it's fine, you can park in my garage. And then he told me to come and park right before somebody actually needs to use a garage. He was staying at his house. And I was like, this has been with him and this other guy named Nish. They're both gay. And I'm like, okay, this is already, like, I didn't say this to them. But, like, that one loan was enough for me to be like, I'm not going to hang out with these guys anymore. That right there was when I was like, okay, look, I'm only doing this out of obligation. 
and they probably picked up on that like look dude i actually made like we went to the same high school together and from the, with dustin like i've actually known him since like i actually met him in elementary school like he seems like he wants to hang out or something like he was harassing me into meeting me so that we could hang out together i'm like okay that stuff what you're doing is illegal and i'm only seeing you so i can tell you this to stop doing that shit and while I'm doing that, I'm going to show you why it wasn't okay, all that shit you did. Do you understand? Like, I'm not doing this because I actually want to hang out with you. Because I never did. Because you were involved with Crystal, who was also a lesbian. Who was harassing me and bullying me the entire time. And filing false reports to the police because she was scared that people were going to find out that she's a lesbian. And she was copying me. And I'm like, yeah, you're fucked, dude. You're like literally legitimately fucked up. And I'm like, I can't fucking like, I haven't spoken to her in years. And she was the one who told me that I she don't want to be friends with me. She's like, I'm only here for a little bit because like, um, I have nothing really better to do. And I don't really want to hang out with you. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. Like, I don't really want to talk to you guys after anymore because you guys are still not apologizing for bullying me. And you keep like harassing me. I thought it would stop. Look, I'm seeing it to see if you're gonna stop. Turns out they never stop. And I'm like, you need to stop harassing me and bullying me. Like, I'm not okay with this. And you keep thinking that I am. And you get upset when I ignore you and I don't want you in my life. It's just weird. Like, why would I want you in my life after you do all that kind of stuff? You know what I mean? Like, it's just why would I want to be friends with somebody who hates me? That makes no sense. So that's what I was saying. I was like, yeah, that makes no sense what you're saying. Like, I don't want to dismiss you just because, like, you know, we already know each other. Do you understand? Oh, God, what is that? Is there some awful foul smell here? And it feels like my nose feels like it's all plugged up and shit. And I'm like, oh, my God. But that was my point. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, I don't actually like you guys. I don't know why you think it looks like I like you. I know my facial responses is responding to you to make you feel more comfortable because I think you're insane. I don't think any sane person asks so much of a person and think moving and see if it's a real life. That's what, like, even people who live up in the cabins and have nothing to do but watch TV and movies all day don't think that's real life. Do you understand? Like, I'm not gonna... The problem is that I don't want to get involved with you guys because of what you've already done. And prior to that, I didn't really have an opinion of you. But now I actually dislike you because of what you did. And then you want me to forget about all of that and forgive you guys and move on together? Because we were friends with each other beforehand, right? That wasn't the case. If we were friends before and you apologized and all that kind of stuff, then yeah, that would make sense. Unfortunately, we weren't actually friends. Just from the beginning, the only reason we talked to you was so you can bully me. And all of you guys were doing that. Every single one of you. And it was just weird, you know? It's like, why are you doing that? <sighs> My point being, like, you guys were all bullying me. And you typically, there's only, like, a few bullies in the school. And every single one of them happened to be bullies. They just rounded it up to get, all go to that school. It just seems a little intentional. Do you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, okay, so, like, why are you doing that? Like, it's just, it's weird that you, like, you think that I want to be friends with you after. <laughs> Do you understand? Like, it's just, I don't really understand why you think that those things were okay. And I don't understand why David thinks that I like him. I'm like, oh my god, you must be insane. Like, <sighs> I just feel like Sean is the reason why I'm in this situation. Huh. Sucks. I'm so sorry, but I just I don't feel sorry for any of you. I I don't think it's okay what you did, and how it's affecting me to the point where I have to live outside in a fucking tent. 
I mean, the fact that you don't feel bad about that is already enough for me to be like, okay, you, you do something wrong with you. Like, this isn't normal. What you're saying is not normal, and the fact that you're responding that way isn't normal. Like, I don't understand why you don't understand this. Like, and then you were expecting me to trust you and tell you the truth and be honest with you and be myself with you. I can't. Because there's something wrong with you. You know, like, what do you want me to do? Like, you're actively abusing me. You're bullying me. And you're saying that I have to be honest with you and tell you what I'm like and be myself around you. Just don't worry about the fact that you're bullying me. Are you fucking stupid? I'm like, what the hell is that shit? And you're trying to blame it on the fact that your parents are abusing you. And I'm like, yeah, I got abused at home too. What's your point? What, like your dad yelled at you one too many times or your mom used to beat you or whatever and nobody did anything? Yeah, that was literally my life. Unless you're just lying about that and you're trying to make it excuses as to why things weren't going well for you. I'm like, yeah, that's really stupid. What are you doing? <laughs> Anyway, my point being, um, I don't understand why you think that I like them. Literally, I'm like, you don't feel bad for any of the stuff you did, the fact that you owe me money. Um, you don't feel bad about the fact that you claim to be my friend, but you won't even let me crash at your place. You don't feel bad about any of that kind of stuff. I'm just like, you know what, people that I don't even know feel bad for me. They're like, yeah, I just, that's fucked up, like, I don't even know why you're in that situation. I'm like, it's because of Sean. And he thinks that I feel sorry for him. I'm like, I don't feel sorry for that guy. I actually hate that guy. I hate him. I'm like, it's because of you that I'm in this situation. <laughs> Why would I want to be anything like you or be near you? Do you understand? And I don't understand why he's blaming me because his life turned out terribly. Like, life's a movie or something. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Like, honestly, I'm just like, why would I feel bad for you? Because you're gonna die and you're gonna, like, lose everything and people are gonna torture you. And I'm like, yeah, you deserve that. That's literally what you deserve. <laughs> you and Susan and Tiffany. And people were trying to deal with Sean, who was actually threatening me, saying that I'm going to get murdered on the street. And that was his plan all along. That's the only reason he adopted me. And I'm like... <sighs> and then I met other people at the homeless shelter who were also psychotic, who were like, yeah, we're going to kill you. We're going to, like, bully you into killing yourself. And I'm like... <sighs> Look, regardless of whether or not I kill myself or if I die on the street, it's still considered technically murder. Just, I'm just letting you know that right now. <laughs> Like, you don't really... <laughs> yeah, I'm like... Dude, I just... I don't understand what the fuck the point is. You know, just leave me fuck alone. Oh my god. But you think I don't have a personality and my own motivations and goals? I don't like to tell people this. Like, <sighs> Bro, like... I'm supposed to do about like, the problems. I'm like, what the fuck do you want me to do? 